Okay, what molecule do we have here? I think this is aspartame, artificial sweetener. Um, okay, so we have, regardless of what we're being asked to describe, we have a sort of a standard preparation procedure that we want to do on any molecule so that we can answer questions by inspection of what we have written. So first thing we want to do is write in the hidden carbon atoms. The next thing we want to do is to make sure that each carbon atom is satisfying its octet of electrons with four bonds. And if it's lacking, to add that fourth or however many with hydrogens. That's the only assumption we can make. One, two, three, four is fine. Um, a common error is to put a hydrogen on here because people count too quickly, but of course that doesn't need any because it already has um, four bonds. Never mind the nitrogens for now, we're just doing carbon. This carbon is fine, it already has four bonds. This one is fine. This guy needs two. This one is also fine. No lone pairs on the carbon. We've satisfied its octet of electron need with four bonds. Now we look at any other atoms like oxygen and nitrogen, or maybe you'll see a sulfur in a molecule, these large organic molecules as well. And we treat those all the same. So um, if it uh, if this this is our first one, nitrogen, for example, nitrogen has two, four, and then there's I'm counting six because there's a single bond to the hydrogen. Nitrogen only has six, so we know that this nitrogen has a lone pair. Two, four, six, eight. We know this nitrogen has a lone pair as well. And two, four, here's these. We've, we are beginning to recognize that carbonyl carbons have two, uh, carbonyl groups, sorry, have two pairs of electrons on their oxygen. Um, so here we go again, two, four, six, eight. And that's a single bond there, so two, four, six, eight. You can put a pair here and a pair here, but I think we've done enough of these now to know that that's going to end up being bent. And so we can point that out by putting arranging the electron pairs that way. So we're com completely uh, ready, prepared for questions on hybridization state, formal charges as well, um, electron group number, electron group geometry, molecular geometry, and bond angle. So there's a whole lot of information here ready, ready to be described. So um, which carbons are in the same plane over here? All my sp2 carbons are going to be in the same plane. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one is a really flat part of the molecule. But then it kind of flaps around because this is tetrahedral and so on. So let's go through and do, hmm, let's do uh, a, a hybridization state. sp2 sp2, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, sp3, sp3, this nitrogen, 1, 2, 3, 4, this nitrogen is sp3, this carbon, sp2, this one, sp3. This nitrogen, one, two, three, four electron groups, sp3. sp2, not central. sp3, sp2, not central. It's not in the middle of a bond angle. Never mind it. This one is. 
one, two, three, four. This is sp3. Let's go through and do molecular geometries. I'm going to skip over the electron group geometry in this one. Let's just do molecular geometries. Trigonal planar. Same, 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 same. Tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. Ah, now careful here. There are four groups, so the electron group geometry is tetrahedral, but the molecular geometry is, it's not bent, careful, because there is a bond here. There is a bond here. Can we sketch this out just for a second? This nitrogen has a lone pair and then has three things on it, a hydrogen, a carbon that goes elsewhere, and then this carbon that goes elsewhere. So the local geometry is trigonal pyramid, trigonal pyramid, molecular geometry. Yes, the electron group geometry was tetrahedral, but the molecular geometry around this nitrogen is a trigonal pyramid. Here, molecular geometry, trigonal planar. This one? tetrahedral. This nitrogen? Yeah, it looks the same, doesn't it? This nitrogen, one, two, three, four, electron group geometry is tetrahedral, but the molecular geometry is same as this, trigonal pyramid. This carbon, tetrahedral. This carbon, trigonal planar. This oxygen, bent. Again, one, two, three, four. So electron group geometry is tetrahedral, but the molecular geometry is bent. Yeah, so I think, um, don't watch the next movie immediately. <laughs> um, why don't you, yeah, we still have one page. We still have this page left with these examples. We'll do uh, DDT. This next um but why don't you try and finish those on your own because i think i think we've done a lot of practice and then you can just watch the final video to um confirm